atmosphere over this nation that the sound of the lion of Judah shall roar in the earth. Come on, just begin to prophesy. Let there be a sound, God. The sound of your feet that take dominion. The sound of your feet and the host of heaven that carry forth changes that shall be seen in a new era that has started off harsh. Let the sound of the chariot of God roar across the earth. Listen carefully. I have refrained and held back for a season, so you would think. But now I roar, and I shall prevail over the enemies that thought they could steal the freedoms, not only from my people, but from those in the earth. For there is, says the Spirit of grace, global freedom that shall counter that which has come by way of socialism and Marxism to try to clamp you down even again. But listen carefully, for there was a day as it was declared in my word when they were selling donkey heads, dung dung was being sold and the waters were boiling and even to kill their babies. Why do I speak that in this moment, says the living God? Because they have sought to attack your bread and to cause shortages and even to attack your water. And so they said, if we cannot stop abortion laws, we'll look for other means to attack the children of this day. But I say to you, those who have ears to hear what the Spirit of God says, do you think that they shall prevail? For in the day where donkey's head was being sold in dove's dung, and they boiled water for their children so that they may eat, what did I do? I raised up a prophet who spoke in the time of famine and harshness. And the word of the Lord came unto Elisha. And so I say this to you now, those of you that are afraid, those of you that think that the answer is for me to take my church out of the earth, not so at this time. Yet I speak what I spoke through my servant Elisha. This time tomorrow, things will begin to change. Do you sense it? As there will be great heat in the earth, record temperatures will continue to arise. Yet I will do the opposite. I will begin to cool things down. That I may bring a swift change, a relief to the harsh season because God says the elitists, so they call themselves, I laugh. They think that this is about their reset. Nay, it is my reset, says the living God. So lift up your hands, lift up your voice, let the lion roar, come on. We prophesy this into the atmosphere. We prophesy this over America. We prophesy this to the nations of the earth. Let the lion roar! 
Come on, Lion of Judah. Stand up and declare. Let your voice be heard. Let the heavens, let the lion roar. Let the lion roar. Split open the heavens. Open the heavens. Let the lion roar. Let the lion roar. Split open the heavens. Let the lion roar. Let the lion roar. Split open the heavens. Come on, there is an opening of the heaven. I want you to reach up. Come on, when the heavens are open, it means there is an access to heavenly realms. Not only do you have it by the blood of your covenant, but God is pouring forth the grace. Come on. Think about it for a moment. When the church was persecuted in the book of Acts, what did God do? He released great grace and great power. And God says, this will not change, for I am releasing greater grace and greater demonstration of my power. Come on, lift up your hands and say, Lord, I receive it. I receive it. I receive greater grace. I receive that heavenly touch of a fresh anointing, of power, not of our might or our own power, but by the Spirit of God, we receive it. Come on, those of you that are watching around the world, you just lift up your hands and receive that fresh touch that comes by the hand of God himself. Let every heavy burden be removed. Let every yoke be destroyed. Let all fear be abated. And I speak and release peace, shalom over you, that you will not fear. May your eyes be touched, that you will see God's perspective. No more anxiety, no more fear. Come on, say fear, go. Anxiety, go. You cannot touch me. Now, come on, some of you need to touch your head. So I release, I receive that heavenly downpour of God's grace, God's shalom, God's perspective. Hallelujah. Now, lift up your hand and give God a high five. Come on, just high five. I'm saying, God, it's a privilege to be a co-laborer.